So when you have minimal experience, say you're applying okay. for a job, you have minimal experience, and you're going into this interview. Okay. You got the interview, so that's great. Yes. But you have to kind of showcase your talents from there. But you have minimal experience. What can you do within that interview to show the interviewers that you would be a good candidate for this job, though you have minimal experience. Yes, so you had enough experience to qualify. That's why you're in the yes. interview. But what you might be worried about, and I think this is what you're getting at, Hallie, is you're going up against a, a pool of competitors that may have more experience than you. And if you're answering a question, certainly talk about the experience you do have. Right, right? okay. Cer even if it is minimal. Even if it is a college assignment that you're talking about um, or an internship experience that you've had. So certainly say what you what, what you what you have in terms of accomplishments. What I would expand upon maybe or just to strengthen your answer is talk about if you experience that same situation at a higher level or more severe of a problem, based on what experience you do have and based on your mentors, the coaching they've given you or some of the books you've read or um, some of the things you've learned by other people working at a higher level, how would you go about resolving the problem. I'll give you an example. If the question is about how have you resolved an issue with someone who you didn't agree with, but you both have to work towards a common goal, right? That's something you can certainly experience in school and group projects. We know how that goes. Uh, same thing. If you are doing an internship or an entry-level job, you're going to experience that. But if you're applying for a job as a lead or a supervisor, and it's a little bit higher level role and maybe a, a few more stakes involved, you would talk about, given your experience you've had, given the advice of the mentors that you've been meeting with, how would you address this same problem at a higher level? Might you bring both parties in to talk about it? Might you bring in a third party mediator to be a neutral uh, person in there with a sense to keep things reasonable? Or based on some of the advice in the books you've read, how would you approach it? Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. That I'm sorry, go ahead. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. So, so, because what that does, it shows that you have some of experience, but you've, you've, thought, you've, you've put more thought into the situation. You know that on the horizon, more of those problems are going to occur. Those problems are going to occur at higher levels, and you've done what it takes to prepare yourself for, for those jobs. Or I'm sorry, okay. not those jobs, those problems. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah, that makes sense.